to the winners finals of Capital Punishment. We have a boss against momentum gaining uh, bang bangles. One of the strongest rivals, longest ones of VA Smash. So we're kicking things right off game one of Smash Build. Great bangles with a very nice lead here. 37% off of just a couple strings. So really uh, maximizing and optimizing the damage we can do. Nice fares though from boss, evening up the percent there. Seeing a very fast paced match right off the get go. Whole players really want this. They really want to win. They want the. I'm not sure how much first place goes, but $500 pop bonus at this tournament. Mm. That's some pretty nice walking around money. Quick little quick toss down the there. Crumbling. Was unable to get any sort of moves off of it, and last will be able to push him right off stage. Great back air from Bangles. Opting to go back to the ledge instead of trying to uh, do anything too dangerous. Bangles, someone very smart who always goes to the safer play rather than. And ooh, that back air did in fact kill. I'm not sure if it was just bad DI on Boss's part or if. Pack was greater than I thought, but Bangles up a stock so far. Looking very good in this set as of right now. Only extending his lead. Ooh, just missing the spike hitbox, but doing some very nice damage. Boss is already at 70%. Really liking the options that Bangles is going for here. Smash right there, be able to block it. No problem. Boss going for the gimp there. Oh, very, very smart stuff from Bangles. Going for the stunner, knowing exactly where he was going to be. Purposely not going for the spike because the platform was right there. So instead, just going for the hard down B, which will get the kill, giving Bangles one a one match victory so far. And now we're seeing Bart switch to Wario. Interesting. I know Boss does like to play Wario. I've seen him play a lot in friendlies. I didn't know his Wario was someone he likes to take out in tournaments. So we'll see if his Wario is ready for this. Uh, you know, Wario's someone that a lot of people are starting to take seriously, especially when uh, people like Reflex are coming out there showing us what that character can do. So we'll see if Boss can do something similar here. Uh, pretty even game so far. Bengals really racking up a nice sum of percent on boss. Ooh, unfortunately that fight was facing me wrong, Rain. Right? Will not be able to uh, hit. Those who don't know, that bite is considered a grab and will hit you out of shield or out of options that can only be done through grabbing. Something to look out for when going out against uh, Wario. You can also bite projectiles to get some health back. Not too much, but every percent matters in this game. You see Bangles just really on top of him, not giving him any sort of uh, momentum to go off. Or, which now I can see why Momentum Gaming really wanted Bangles on their team. He has some very nice uh, momentum going forward into this match. Boss sitting at 121%, so he is at kill percent. Bengals from the safe. Oh, soft walk. We'll get the kill there. Very nice stuff. I was not expecting that to be the move that would come out. I, mean, I doubt Bengals was either, but it will not matter. Very awful punish by Bengals there. Tying up these stocks right real quick. Fighting right out of anything he she was gonna try to do there. Excellent grab. We'll not be able to get any sort of moves off of it due to the spacing, but damage is still there. And now Now Boss is starting to realize what he needs to do in this matchup against not just Zero Sweep but against Bangles. Uh He's doing very nice options with Wario. As you saw, that was a very nice string. Down to open air. Right off stage. Barely where he could. So, maybe this was a 
pretty good switch. Uh, since we're catching Banner's off guard, sitting at 93%, uh, could potentially lose the stocks in if he's not terribly careful. Ooh, we'll miss another soft walk there. Uh, very interesting option to go for. I feel like he would have to save some of his. Oh. Nah, he knows more than I do. These two are just in an all out tussle right now. They're being very aggressive, very really smart with their moves. They're not just blindly running in with dash attacks when they're shielding or going for any sort of unsafe options. They're really going for hits that they at least know won't get them punished. I really like the mobility that they are putting on here. Uh, trading there, Wario will get pumped or shoved into the ground, so nothing too scary would happen from there. Just a reset of the neutral. Now, both players are at health percent right now, so we're in the last stop, the last hit situation here in game two. Now, I believe the walk. Ooh! Down air will get the kill from right above. Very smart stuff by boss there, knowing where the active hitboxes were for Zero Suit and going right above them. So, very, very good stuff so far. And we'll see where Bengals decides to take game three here. See if he can adjust to this Wario change. I'm not sure if Bengals has played Boss's Wario before. And this being the first time, it's certainly a surprise to him because this is a very strong Wario. Very nice up B there. Uh, pushing Samus out of any sort of strange shoes he's going to try to go for. See, now that was a very smart placement of the bike because she had to press A to pick up the bike. And where she was and where Wario was, she wanted to run an attack, not pick up a bike. That was very smart spacing by boss there. Pretty much forcing Zero Suit to pick up that bike. Excellent grab there. And you see, you see Zero Suit at a very, at a 50% uh, deficit here, but nothing that can't be easily made up. I'm trying to read the roll in, but unfortunately they're not taking, so boss will just continue to have free mobility, free range. He's doing a very good job of controlling where Zero Suit's going to be. Very nice back air there, getting Zero Suit right off the map. Now we'll see what boss will do here to extend his lead, or if Bengals will just come back. Three up airs will do it. I believe that up B was just instinct, was not actually you know, meant for anything, but... He got the kill, I mean, literally 1% behind, so good. Things are even here. Excellent fight grab there. aren't being as aggressive as we saw in, you know, games 1 and 2. They're being a lot safer right now. So, ooh, very, very close situation right there. Uh, Wong almost killed, but, ooh, will air dodge right out of the game. Avoiding any sort of heavy damage or potentially a stock loss. Now, what we saw there was... Uh, you know, Zero Suit Special, using the platforms to chain some up airs. When they got to the top of the stage, use the up B to finally finish it off. Very great positioning by Bengals there, taking game three. Moving on into game four, heading forward. We will be heading right back to Battlefield. Bossing, boss opting to switch away from Mario. I'm not sure who he would pick here. Alright, boss will go back to Luigi here, uh, who he feels his strongest character is, so... He did lose game one to uh, Bengals as Luigi, so we'll see if he adjusts his playstyle accordingly. You know, right now, when he is Luigi, think, 
really get intense though. He becomes a lot more aggressive, a lot more rush down. Which is something that Zero Two is also very good at, as we saw from his set against Mr. Eric, where he was just in his face doing all the damage he needs to do. I'm seeing Boss do the same thing here, the same idea, where he's just really up in uh, Zero Two's face. Zero Two has the option to push him back out. Up B will not kill quite yet, but that chain will reset the uh, percentage there, making things just about even. Boss getting some very nice damage off right now, though. In a very tricky situation here. Ooh, very good stuff by Bangalore, hitting the down smash into the uh, down B spike. Now we see what he can do to uh, rack up more percent on Luigi here. You see, this definitely helps him right now. He has to watch out for any stray up smashes and jab jab forward smash throws like that, even too, where gives the boss an excellent like that opportunity. And the up smash will get the kill off the top, and now we see a very familiar situation where. We're both at their last stock here. Boss is on his uh, winner's final point here. He does not want to lose this stock at all. So he's going to lose really what he can survive. He could go for safer options instead of more aggressive ones. Uh, when it's the choice between hitting Samus and uh, damage and recovery. He'll go for recovery option. He will miss and pull his own jump. And will not hit the up B while they are on stage. You know, camera not being up there, unable to see exactly where the positioning was. Very smart to still go for it though. You just need there's a chance that he'll make it there. That's something I'll do. Excellent power shield by the last game, right towards right guys. Up smash, sending the Yosu up to the top left. Right? Unfortunately, the misrecovery there by Bangles will cost him game four. Boss moving on into game five. Very, very tight set here. Uh, really can go to either player at this situation. Bangles doing. Returning to Battlefield would be alright. Normally, rules will state that you cannot go back to a stage that you have already won on. However, the gentleman rule applies to most tournaments where if the other guy's cool with it, yeah, you can go back to the same stage, you can go to a non tournament legal stage. Really, it's up between the players there. The rule set's more of just a, just a simplifying question here. And we will be taking it back to Battlefield. Game 5 will be brought back here. One, go! Very neutral start here. Uh, Boss being a lot more defensive this game than he was uh, last or the previous game he played as Luigi. Just because he wants to watch out for that. He wants to watch out for those up air strings. Bengo's doing a very nice job of dragging on his sense. Unfortunately, Boss will side be right into the side of the ledge there, giving Samus all the time in the world to set something up there. Boss, Boss only gets Bangle at 12%, while he's sitting at 93%. Very scary situation for him to be in here. And Bangle's with someone who, for a while, was out of town, out of the country, uh, visiting family. But he's, I believe this is the first tournament he's had since he came back. He's doing a very solid job of showing he hasn't lost any of the skill. In fact, probably gained a few more ones. Because he's doing a very phenomenal job against Boss here in this set. But the raw Shoryu will just delete Samus' first stop. And now it puts uh, Bengals in a very aggressive position here where he needs to go in to get the stop. And he will do so with a perfectly timed up beat, only having 33% crack up on top of him. And we'll unfortunately drop the chain there, but we'll try to pick it up again here. 
Bengals really utilizing those platforms that is uh, bad and fit here. Uh, Luigi is able to use them to run around and get away from uh, Dual Suit, but this platform is like, really hard. Ooh, not expecting the stunner to hit, so going for the down smash there. Had he not, what would have resulted in the stop? Now we see Boston in the back air will kill. Winners finals going to Momentum Gaming's Virginia Bengals. Very, very nice set there. Both players were playing extremely smart, going for very uh, optimal choices. And in the end, it seems like Bengals was finally able to pick the better options and come back and win the set.